Now, just a quick update. The reason things are rather agitated right now, or one of the reasons, is that Jody Wilson-Raybould was banned from testifying again um, before the House of Commons Justice Committee after the Liberals on that committee voted against her testifying a second time. So to Jody Wilson-Raybould, who is a better chess player than I would have imagined she was, well, she just submitted her remarks in writing, which were released. So it didn't quite have the pop of her personal testimony, but it didn't have to since she filed pure dynamite, including a recording she made of a phone call she had with Michael Wernick, the clerk of the Privy Council. It's a lengthy phone call. Obviously, I'm not going to play all of it, but here are a few parts of it. So he's, he's quite determined, <laughs> quite firm. Uh, but he, wants to, he wants to know why the DPA route, which Parliament provided for, isn't, isn't being used. And I think he's going to find a way to get it done one way or another. So um, he's in that kind of mood. He's asking you to use all of the tools that you lawfully have at your disposal. I am trying to protect the prime minister from um, political Are interference you? or perceived or otherwise. I'm going to have to report back on that before he leaves. He's been a pretty firm that is incredible for a few reasons. It proves that Trudeau was sending his man, Michael Wernick, to badger her. This was months after the decision was already made to prosecute. Trudeau was still pressuring her to change her mind. Wernick was blunt. Trudeau was in a foul mood. And Jody Wilson-Raybould was adamant, too. She wasn't going to change her mind. And she actually warned Wernick that Trudeau could get into legal trouble for interfering. And Wernick said he was going to report that back to the PM. That's a hell of a thing. It proves there was pressure. If you listen to the whole thing, well, I was not going to play the whole thing. It proves Wilson Raybould repeatedly said she didn't like being pressured. She warned against the pressure. Now, to be sure, Jody Wilson Raybould's own, own comments were self-serving. She knew she was recording herself. But so what? It proves the point that Wernick surely would have denied, had it not been on tape, that she repeatedly objected to the pressure, and pressure was repeatedly put on her, and the PM was in a mood, and he was going to get this done one way or another. In fact, Trudeau had specific... Trudeau, when this whole thing broke in the media a, a few weeks ago, Trudeau specifically said he lied. He said that Jody Wilson-Raybould had never objected to any pressure. I am both surprised and disappointed by her decision to step down. In regards to the matter of SNC-Lavalin, let me be direct. The Government of Canada did its job and to the clear public standards expected of it. If anyone felt differently, they had an obligation to raise that with me. No one, including Jody, did that. So he was lying. Uh, in that 17-minute recording, she objects time and again to Trudeau's handpicked messenger. That's the power of the recording. It proved what Jody Wilson-Raybould knew would be lied about later. And indeed, it was lied about later, wasn't it? That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.